Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So today we're taking a look at the final figure in this wave's Gundam Universe line. And it's going to be on none other than the new Gundam. The only thing I can say really is the new Gundam is one of my favorite mobile suits. I just definitely think it's probably the most perfected mobile suit in the entire franchise. I, though I do have a big bias towards the Age 1 Normal. I do think the new Gundam is just peak perfection when it comes to just aesthetics and overall design. It's re you really can't do any better than that, in my humble opinion. Now if you want this figure or any others from the Gundam Universe line, you can go to Hotline Japan and click the link down below so that way you can get this one or any others and you can help support me and this channel. Now with that said, after playing with the Gundam Universe figure, I can definitely tell you guys from first impressions, I'm kind of puzzled. I don't think it's that great, per se, but it's not that bad. It's kind of in this weird middle that has very weird proportions and the lack of accessories and just overall like feel of it, it doesn't make me really enjoy it as I did with other you know new Gundam products such as the Master Grade, the Real Grade, and the High Grade. Now, I never had any of the other type of figures like the Robot Namashi or, you know, the Misa, but I think that I don't need to have an action figure of this to understand the difference between an action figure and a model kit. Like, I understand the difference. So when I'm playing with this, and even though I have predominantly a model kit background, I can understand what a toy should feel like. I grew up on toys my entire life, a, a large array of toys, in fact, of all different franchises. So playing with this really doesn't make me feel like I'm not having much enjoyment, to be honest. I'm, I'm actually just kind of like, eh, play with it a little bit, put it in the box, and that's it. I should want to always play with one of my toys, especially if it's something like, you know, a cheaper end toy that's just more durable. I'm like, oh, I can just play with this, and I'm not going to have any fears of it breaking. Even though this probably won't break anytime soon, I generally just don't get that satisfaction. And let's go ahead and get a little bit deeper dive and see exactly the reason why. Now looking at the box, honestly, nothing too spectacular here. It looks okay. The art is meh. It's not as dynamic as I've seen with the other Gundam Universe lines. So eh, this box is a box. That's all I can really say. Now straight out of the box, we're going to have not many accessories. You're going to have the beam saber, the beam saber hilt. You're going to have an accessory holding hand. You're going to have the stand adapter, the fin funnels, and one fin funnel that has articulation. Now overall details are great. I have no problems with it whatsoever. The face sculpt looks really good. You have the Amor Ray shoulder symbol and that's fantastic. I didn't even think that was going to have it even in the promotional photos. I was like, oh, that's actually pretty interesting. But the only thing that's kind of wonky is going to be the overall proportions on this. It either feels like it's too slim in like the legs and maybe the waist, but like everything else is kind of bulky. Like the shoulders just kind of look a little bit smaller than what I'm, I think I'm, I'm more used to. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit on the weird side because I just don't see this as like the traditional new Gundam. It feels like a, a different Gundam altogether. And I know that sounds weird, but to me, when I look at this, I'm, it just doesn't really like scream new Gundam. And I know it's weird. Maybe it's just in my head, but I just think the body and everything looks so out of place. But I mean, it is the new Gundam. So what am I saying? Now for the articulation, it's fine. It's the standard Gundam Universe line. So I'm not like looking at this and thinking, oh, it should be better than it, you know, the rest of the line. It's essentially on par with every other figure. So Eh, what, what do I say? Ugh. Now hopping over to the accessories, we're going to have the beam saber hilt and you can put that into the backpack. Uh, it's just unfortunate that I can't use it as an actual beam saber. I have to have a separate beam saber. So yeah, the beam saber is fine. It's pink beam, put, you put into the accessory holding hand and that's pretty much it, man. You, this is literally the only weapon that comes with this look bandai i i just i don't know i don't know what to say man i get it you have a 25 dollar price point that you're really sticking to it you're like look we're putting out a product that's generally affordable or in the traditional six inch figure line i get it and i get someone like me who wants more should just go get what's the best 
out there. Like I should just get the real grade or get the master grade Verka or the metal structure if I really want to go crazy. But this is my thing. It's like how much more money would it have been to include a shield and a beam rifle? That's all you had to do. I'm not even like I'm not even going on the the fin funnels. The fin funnel is a whole different bracket of complaints. But I just don't see why those two pieces of plastic would have just either made a financial loss on this product or it, you would have had to bump it up significantly higher. I think even $30 and just including those two accessories may have made this a little bit more worth it. But I, I, I really just don't get you. You could have just included the beam rifle. and I would have been OK. But the beam saber the beam saber now let's talk about the fin funnels all right you, there's only one fin funnel that has articulation i mean i guess that's fine uh, i don't see why all of them couldn't have that articulation maybe something with the weight or the overall connection points wouldn't have been as sturdy i'm kind of just throwing darts in a dark room but yeah i mean look you can take it off and you don't even need the fin funnels looks fine but you know, if you had the fin funnels on there, you are only using one to actually display. But, um, you know, at least it can be used in a stand. All right, guys, I'm skipping. I'm skipping the comparisons. Uh, my new Gundam is in a cabinet and it's kind of hard to even get it out. It's in a really good pose along with the Master Grade uh, Verka. I'm just going to keep them in there. Uh, instead, I'm, I'm just going to I got I got to take at least a sip because I'm sitting here. It's almost it's almost midnight. All right, and I'm reviewing a Gundam Universe figure at midnight on a Saturday. Uh, I could I could be partying with the boys, but I'm here having a video with you, and this is the beauty behind YouTube, right? Now I'm just gonna go on a rant. There's no structure. There's no there's no one that's telling me I have to make a review a certain way. Um, these Gundam Universe figures has probably been the best and worst thing to happen to me uh best thing in fact that it made me appreciate a lot more of the other products bandai spirits has put out um you know when i look at some things that they put out i'm like you know what that's actually not that bad and i look because i'm like i'm looking over at the gun universe i'm like it could be way worse uh than some of the products i have uh, especially when it comes to the model kits um but bad because like I you know I spend the money on these to review the product and I do feel like shit when I do just harp on the minor you know bad qualities I'm like oh you know has bad articulation and all this you know I it, I don't know what else to say it's the Gundam Universe line I pr I probably won't even be reviewing the next wave it's me and like two other dudes here on YouTube that are even reviewing these products you know it's like. I don't even know why I'm doing it anymore, but, uh, you know, this is just between you and me, me and the boys. Look, I'm, I'm at my breaking point with these things. Do I keep reviewing them? What do I do? What do I do? I'll probably keep reviewing them. <laughs> That's probably exactly what I'm going to do. But look, the new Gundam, I guess I'm in my final thoughts portion. I'm just skipping the, the rest of everything else, skipping it all. I, I, I just cannot in my goodwill in my hearts of hearts recommend it to me this is a drop it and some people are gonna be like no this ain't a drop it. it's a cop it but then the, if i would have said it's a cop it to every single one of these figures i probably would have been called like a sellout that i'm just trying to like you know have people buy from my sponsors or something like that that's that's not what i want to do i don't care about trying to generate revenue from the sponsors and all that i don't care about that I care about making sure that people who watch these reviews get an informative video on the quality. And I think I do present everything necessary for you to make that informed decision. Um, and obviously there's heavy bias in these videos, but that's just what you, you should probably know that coming into the video. So I don't know what else to say, guys. You know, I, I, I'm at a point to where I just don't want to review these anymore. Um, I'll probably just, I'll probably just stick to what I know. And that's model kits. And that's maybe some other little figurines here and there. That's it for me, guys. That's it. I'm, I'm burnt. I'm done. I'm tired. I don't even know if I want to go to bed or if I just want to, like, lay my beanbag chair and just look up at the roof. And, I don't know, put on a, a shitty B-rated horror movie. 
I've been wanting to watch Hellraiser lately, so that might be an option, but mm, that's it for me. God bless you. Uh, thank you to all the members who support me and, uh, you know, give me some good sound guidance and discord. You guys are fantastic, especially my tier three, uh, only crow fans. Uh, you guys are amazing. Um, you know, I'll be sending you the feet pics later. Uh, other than that, that's it, man. I got some other ideas for videos I'll be wanting to do and hopefully I do get around to them. I swear to God, I hope this video is not long, but that's it for me. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.